is how you have you have him wrench from me, permitting lying lips, leather dash, holy men flinging fistfuls of anger, sharp as the pipe that split his sweet muscle, spoil his smooth skin. I have gladly hit, slain him unblemished, unbroken on the altar. Had you asked, you gave me some sway in his beginning. Why not his end? Look at him. I could never kiss away half those bruises. His countless wounds would dye all my cloth crimson. Besides, this human hand told no healing. Maybe it's best if I go with John now. If I say goodbye and let my son fly to your arms. A dawn on Sunday with a Sabbath well behind them. Several of Jesus' followers went to the tomb to finish preparing his body for burial. Mary Magdalene was among them. When she found his body missing, she was distraught, for while Jesus had spoken of his death and resurrection, who could honestly conceive of it? Certainly not Mary, who met the risen Christ that day and mistook him for the gardener. John alone stood witness when the weighty stone was heaved aside. Then came Mary Magdalene, crept in, stumbled out again. Her stare vacant as the grave, her loved one missing. No wonder tears flooded the backs of her eyes. What do you think, child? A stranger whispered, the gardener she thought. She struggled for air, moved her worry into words. He wrinkled his sword and pierced her arm and sighed. Here's Mary. She knew that voice, those eyes, madness. 